in the morning they come here at 6 uh, 10 they will be done with their work so most of the time up to 4 when they will go back they are idle that's why they end up in bars end up with women and what and that also brings a lot lack of things to do that make them busy the whole of the day and also contributes a lot in HIV AIDS. In fishing communities, the majority of populations are migrants. The fishing villages are economic hotspots, attracting mobile populations from neighboring countries, as well as Ugandans from distant districts in search of economic breakthroughs. These populations spend many nights away from their homes, which creates varying degrees of loneliness in communities where sex, work, and disposable incomes are common, thereby creating environments conducive for high-risk sex. A uh, majority of the fishermen in this side are illiterate. They are not educated and most of them are not sensitized about the negative part of HIV. HIV is a dangerous disease in Kassensero and we've lost several people here. Mobility limits access to quality HIV services and information. Since work and travel practically allow no time to visit the clinic, take drugs on time, or even get resupplies of medicine. Fish folk communities are often hard to reach, therefore they normally have weak health systems, exemplified by medicine or condom stockouts, long queues of health facilities, and unsupervised health. What is done in Kassensero in regards to HIV is uh, one, HIV counseling and testing, and the linkage of people who are found HIV positive to care and treatment and then referral. That is what we've done so far. Because Kasensero is as being a learning site, is one of the learning sites with the highest HIV prevalence in the country and the district at large. One month ago, we had an incidence of 13%. That is new incidents, new uh, new cases of HIV. So that is a very big percentage. It is even more than the, uh, the rate of the country. So there is still need for us to, uh, to do HIV counseling and testing and also linking uh, those who are found HIV positive to care and treatment. The biggest chunk of the people uh, <laughs> the fish for. We have not been in position to capture much of these people because of their schedule. Their time is not enough to come and do HIV, HIV counseling and testing. And so we, we think that if we extend the HIV counseling and testing to them, extend the services very much closer to them, perhaps we can be uh, in position to capture them and get them on board, we get them to treat, we treat them and also do some other services for them. The behavior change communication does not cause any impact change since the communities are highly mobile. HIV programs for fisher communities should be tailor-made to match their unique context. To address the fisher folk, IOM is offering migrant-friendly care and is using sex workers as peer educators for community health promotion. IOM has been uh, implementing a number of activities for the uh, fish landing site. Uh, first of all, Kassensoro uh, is uh, one of the largest landing sites on Lake Victoria. And, uh, uh, it's filled with a population of around 17,000 people, a large number of which are uh, involved in fishing activities. Being a population that is majorly mobile, we realize that uh, we need more interventions, in particular focus at the fishermen and uh, the fish traders, basically the fisher folk 
So if we are able to tackle the men uh, who are mainly fishing and sort out the traditional violations when it comes to sex, such as negotiation, using condoms, uh, having HIV tests, we feel that it will make a big difference because we will be using, uh, we'll be hitting at HIV using the two-pronged approach, tackling the men and also tackling the sex workers.